Hey, what's going on guys? Josh Mundy here. And in this video, I want to talk to you about ClickFunnels and we're going to be comparing opt-in pages versus landing pages. Uh, so if you're just getting started with internet marketing, the whole internet marketing space, um, you probably heard a lot of these words, squeeze pages, opt-in opt pages, landing pages, sales funnels. You know, those are, those are techie words that are, are thrown around quite a bit when it comes to internet marketing. And right now I am inside of my ClickFunnels account and I'm kind of be comparing you know those two what that means and what that looks like for each one so uh, an easy thing to remember is that a landing page is the simple and easiest way to explain a quick way to build a, a web page or a website uh, but when it comes to a landing page it it really only has one objective has one goal on that page and inside of that the objective could be different things so depending on what the objective is that defines whether it's a squeeze page or a sales funnel uh, so you can see here this is my click funnels account um, and then each one of these different pages do different things. They each have a different objective. So this is a squeeze page. The goal of a squeeze page or an opt-in page is to collect an email address. You're giving something of value. You're giving something in exchange for that email address. If you're, if you're going to get the email address from that customer to start growing your list, you have to give them something in return. And that's what a squeeze page does. A uh, sales page, that's more of a long form page that is um, you know, explaining the product that you're selling. It generally has a video at the top and then detailed uh, product uh, details about the product underneath. The order form page is where they purchase. So each one of these pages has a different objective, and but they'd all be considered a landing page. ClickFunnels is a landing page builder, and then inside of those you have your squeeze pages, your sales pages, your order form pages, your one-time offer pages. So that's kind of a, an easy way to understand you know, when it comes to landing pages versus opt-in pages, is that a landing page is the overall view, and then an opt-in page is kind of under that. Um, so uh, squeeze page and opt-in page, they are the same thing. Um, so don't get confused with that. If you ever hear those two terms, an opt-in just stands for they're opting into your list. That's where that comes from. Whereas a squeeze page is you're kind of narrowing down, and that's why it's called a squeeze page. You're narrowing down and create, squeezing your customer down to give them, they have one, one goal. It's either to give you their email address or leave the page. That's all they can really do on a squeeze page. Uh, so that's an easy way to understand. This is the share funnel I got from the One Funnel Away Challenge. The One Funnel Away Challenge is what really helped my wife and I understand click funnels, understand the process and understand all these things and uh, has really changed our, our company, our business, and the way that we live our lives. So it's been very, very helpful. Highly recommend ClickFunnels and uh, joining the One Funnel Away Challenge. Uh, but so this is a full sales funnel. So if somebody hears you hear the term sales funnel, that's a, a sales funnel is made up of different uh, sales funnel is made up of multiple landing pages that each one has a different objective. That's what the overall term is for a sales funnel. Um, so just if, if you want to just create a squeeze page, if you literally just have the goal of collecting the email, you can definitely do that inside of ClickFunnels as well. You don't have the full, you don't need to have a full on sales funnel. So this here, this is just a uh, opt-in page or a squeeze page. I did a video on creating how to create a squeeze page inside of ClickFunnels and this is what we made. It's very simple to do. ClickFunnels has a lot of different templates that you can start from and then you just kind of tweak, change the wording, change the images, how, how you w would like it to look. So with any type of uh, a opt-in page, the goal again is to collect an email address and then it's usually a thank you page, which is also a landing a landing page is just called a thank you page underneath that and uh, the goal of the landing page or the thank you page is where you're giving them what you promised on the opt-in page they opted into your list you have to easy to understand just remember that a landing page is the overall view and then the opt-in page is underneath of that or a squeeze page is underneath that um, a squeeze page is always a opt a squeeze page is always a landing page, but a landing page doesn't always mean that it's a squeeze page as a, as a quick phrase in remembering the two. Uh, so if you have not started a trial yet with ClickFunnels, I highly recommend it. There is a link in the description to start a 14-day free trial. This is a very powerful tool that, has a, again, has had a huge impact on my business and the way we do things. I've been using ClickFunnels for about two years now, and if you do decide to take action with ClickFunnels, to decide to um, start a 14-day trial using the link down below, I actually want to incentivize you, and I want to give you a bonus because uh, I want to help you with your ClickFunnels account. I want to help you with your setup. I want to help you understand ClickFunnels. So what I do is if you purchase or sign up for the 14-day trial using that link down below, I actually want to give you my personal email address so that way you can reach out to me anytime with questions, with comments, with concerns. If you need help with ClickFunnels, if you need help understanding it, um, I want to be that guy for you. I'm going to help you um, in a time of need when it comes to that. I am only doing this for the first 50 people. So make sure you take action, sign up for that 14 day free trial if you haven't done so already. It's a very powerful tool. I recommend it to every, all my friends, everybody I know, because it's had such a big impact on me and my business. So it can have a big impact on yours. There's a lot of money to be made online and you need to be a part of it. Uh, there's over 97,000 ClickFunnels user and, um, 
you can be one of them and start making money online too. So don't think you can't do it because you definitely can. I didn't believe in myself until I took action, started doing it, joined the One Funnel Away Challenge. I learned a ton and now we're making money online and we're doing this full time. So I hope this video helped in understanding that and we will see you in the next one.